Dale. The signal led us here, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, shit. What? <sighs> I lost the signal. That's not good, Dale. Screw this. Yeah! Oh man, she's running! Hello YouTube, it is Chris here, and in today's episode, we're going to be discussing my Gray Man Grid Down Bug Out Bag. If you're joining us for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our new episodes or our daily giveaways. And make sure you smash that notification button so you don't miss anything. Also, we have a new round of our Amazon gift card giveaways, and to enter, you must be a subscriber and share this video using the YouTube tools in the watch page below. We also pick winners in the very next episode, so if you enter on this particular giveaway, you'll find out who the winner is on the very next episode. For those of you who follow us on social media, you know we love building bug out bags and just experimenting with our survival kits. And experimentation, field testing, and doing all of that outdoor exploration gives you a lot of good learning experiences. It gives you a really good sense on how easy it is to carry, how effective it is in the field, and it gives you an overall familiarity with the gear you've got. Now, some of the situations that plague a lot of people is their particular bag is very camping and hiker oriented. You're gonna notice that that person's got a lot of gear in their pack just by the visual looks of it. Additionally, there's the other backpacks that are ultra tactical. They've got molly gear everywhere, a whole bunch of stuff. And they're like, oh wow, there's probably some ammo, some really good tools. So you definitely stick out. And that was one of the major three problems I was trying to solve. So I wanted to be able to be kind of gray man, not really stand out to a whole lot of people. And we actually did some urban field testing with this and see how many people, even with a camera on us, how many people actually took notice of the backpack we had on us and us walking around in various public situations. Secondly, the other issue we had is we wanted a bag that was actually going to be waterproof, a dry bag of sorts. Now I know there's a simple solution for that for most people is you can just get a rain cover. And some of the more advanced, more expensive backpacks actually have a rain cover built into those systems. But for most bug out bags that most people own and have, they have no really good solution for that. What about an ability to keep my electronics safe? And what I mean by that is the ability to go off grid, to be able to not be trackable, to have an ability that if there is an EMP attack in a bug out or emergency situation, that my electronics necessarily won't be fried, the ones that I have in my survival kit. How do I maintain security and keep that stuff safe? And what I mean by those are my flashlights, the batteries, the external hard drives, any SD cards that you might have with pertinent vital documents, your cell phone, any of your portable ham radios. These are all electronics that could be just too short circuited and fried because they run electronics. So in that extreme type of emergency, all your gear would be toast. And somehow a company was able to solve all three problems in one bag. Now our shelter solution is a very mobile one. This is the Go Camping Hammock by Go Outfitters. And we absolutely love this thing. The insect protection. I have an automatic ribs line for my tarp built in. And also I have a rapid deployment and teardown system to make this hammock camping system very, very, very convenient. Now, additionally, if you live in a colder climate, they do sell under quilt and top quilts that you can kind of snuggle up with. So if it gets really, really, really cold and you still want to be able to hammock camp, they've got that problem solved. No questions asked. Now, if you want to see a very in-depth look into all the little components and what we actually have in this pack, there is actually a video that we're going to be plugging right about here. And you're going to be able to check out that video, which is our 650 piece survival kit video. Now, there have been a few changes since that video, but nothing so major as to this date that it would require a new video. So a few notable components that we would want to protect with a Faraday cage in the case of any power outages is our external battery. 
We have our 18650 batteries in here along with our flashlight and our camping lantern. Now those aren't absolute essentials for any type of grid down or bug out or survival situation. However, artificial illumination is a great form of security, protection, and just overall comfort when you find yourself in the dark and you're not sure what is out there. Now for me, the bug out roll is one of the perfect systems because I don't like rummaging through a backpack. So this particular system for what I have set up is actually completely a beautiful marriage of simplicity, protection, and just overall usefulness. Because with me, all I gotta do is take out the bug out roll, hang it up on a tree, and I have all my gear that I want to in a visual organized setup. And as you guys can see, it's very evenly distributed in a weight category, but it's all put in a very compact system. But something that impresses me so much about this particular bag that we're gonna dive into in just a second is I'm able to stick my bug out roll, my camping axe system, my jacket, and my hammock solution right in that backpack. So I can just go ahead and set up base camp within about five minutes. So I can set up and tear down in a total of 10 minutes. We've done a few time trials with my wife and I of setting up the hammock, the bug out roll, and kind of getting ourselves in a situation where we get to the location, we set everything up as we wanted, we hop into the hammock, then we wait 10 seconds, then go and tear everything down. And it literally takes a total of 10 minutes to set up and tear down. I don't know very many people in the world that can actually say they can set up a tear down that effectively. Regarding the three problems that I want solved, this is the backpack that has solved that solution. Now, this backpack isn't absolutely perfect. However, it does a very good job overall. And we'll touch on some of the things that I hope they improve on as time goes on. Now, keep in mind, this is a very, very new backpack for 2018. We have been very, very hard on this backpack. And so far, it has been holding up really, really well. We've had this for about a month. And so far, I couldn't be happier. We haven't seen any issues with any of the seams, any of the zippers, any problems with anything degradating or having any showing signs of too much wear or failing. So this is the Faraday backpack by the Silent Pocket. And you guys have actually seen the Silent Pocket on our channel before when I had a Faraday cage anti-spy video that I did when they sent us some cell phone pouches. However, with this backpack, they basically take it, they took it two steps further by giving you a full dry bag. So you have waterproof protection for all your electronics and gear, no matter on what application you decide to use it. And outside of a bug out bag, this also makes a whole lot of sense for the daily urban commuters, people, students that are going to college, business people who are going to be doing any type of public transportation or traveling in major metropolitan areas, places like LA, San Antonio, Dallas, Chicago, Houston, Miami, any situation where you find yourself very large public areas, I truly feel this backpack would do you a whole lot of good. Now regarding the gray man aspect of this backpack is we like the fact that it's pretty plain overall. It doesn't draw a lot of attention and we kind of did a social experiment throughout the entire city of San Antonio. Now most people in a major metropolitan area are so dang busy they don't have a lot of time for anybody else. But we wanted to take notice and see if anybody was really paying attention to my wife while she had it on her walking around the city in various locations. We had her just do some normal commuting and walking through parking garages just around town. And we even took her to a very busy shopping mall here in the city. And basically for the most part, not a person even blinked or batted an eye because people carrying around large purses, backpacks, and satchels are a very, very normal part of urban life in our city. So a couple key features about the backpack that are pretty notable, obviously it is waterproof because of the dry bag feature with the way that it's set up and we'll dive into that. But on the outside right here, we have two zippers. Now this is an outer compartment that does not go into the main system. It has this really nice softer um, felt material on the inside. It's definitely somewhere where you can stick like an iPad Pro or a small laptop laptop in here, which saves you all of the room for your larger items in this main compartment. Now right here is the actual handle. You can just pick it up and grab it if you're not going to shoulder strap it right away. And this strap is overall adequate and it does do the job. It is stitched in there very, very, very securely. However, I wish this to be a little bit thicker or even incorporate where they actually add a padded solution on there. So it's going to be really comfortable if you want to grab it and hold it for longer than a couple minutes. Now as we move on to the back side of the pouch, the actual padding right here is actually quite comfortable. Even when we got into some of the heavier weights of up to 30 pounds with this pack back, we had absolutely no problems whatsoever. Now, they do have the sternum strap, which is actually pretty cool. It does have the elastic band, so it has some stretch along any male or female sternums. It's gonna be a pretty comfortable sit right there. But I like the fact that they take into consideration people of varying heights. So just regardless of how short or tall you are, you do have some varying lengths options there, which is kind of nice how convenient they made that. Now, 
with a lighter backpack if you're just gonna have possibly like a pair of gym clothes a laptop and a pair of headphones something like that light carry in your backpack maybe your cell phone the shoulder straps are gonna do a pretty good job it does have some padding a little bit of relief what we noticed is really once we took this out to a full bug out rig and we had this up to the 30 to 35 pound category after about 25 to 30 minutes the straps got a, little, a tidbit uncomfortable now they are flexible so but they are have some stiffness to them so they're gonna work really really well but for people with really really narrow shoulders we'd like to see a little bit more cushion come out of these straps now these are not uncomfortable don't get that twisted but that is an improvement we see as every product can become better over time and we hope for in a version two we would see better handle straps and just a little bit more cushion possibly on the outsides and on the underside now for the notable technological features of it being a dry bag a backpack and a Faraday cage all rolled in one. Those features were perfect for my particular setup because I use a bug out roll in my survival preparation. So the fact that there's that one big pocket to slip all of my essential gear down into, that works perfectly for me. Now, if you don't own a bug out roll, this system may not be absolutely perfect and you might have to make a few adjustments if this is something you wanna consider as far as problem solving. And possibly as an alternative, they may come up with a newer flagship line that offers a lot of the same great technology including the dry bag and the Faraday cage and the, even the impressive size of this backpack. But they may incorporate things where we have multiple zippers, pockets, and some more organizational features. And that'd be something that I think would actually take this thing all the way over the top. The winner of yesterday's Amazon gift card giveaway is Samantha Wendelling. Congratulations, Samantha Wendelling. You are the winner. So definitely contact us at the back end of our channel so we can get your contact details. So coming back from my final thoughts, I truly feel this particular backpack by the sound of pocket is an awesome solution for those who are gonna be a lot, do some heavy commuting, overseas travel, gonna be doing a lot of business and work in an urban environment. And they have their information protection at a very high level. I think that backpack's gonna be absolutely perfect. Additionally, because of its rugged build, its ability to be a dry bag, and it's been able to handle some brutal physical conditions that we've put it through. For someone who is interested in a all-around jack-of-all-trades protection system that is very simple, straightforward, and to the point, I think that if you're willing to invest in it, it's definitely right up there with some of the best backpacks, as it does check off a lot of the marks. But that's just about it for now, and if you enjoyed my Gray Man Grid Down Bug Out Survival Bag, I definitely give this video a big thumbs up, and share this out with your friends and family in your social media networks, so we can keep growing, thriving, and making awesome videos for you guys. But that just about it for now. Hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. I'm out. Damn, this property is huge. This is gonna take all day.